I'm going to be showing you how to use the TAC Life laser distance meter. This is a great device for measuring the distance or the square footage or the volume or even the height of inside or outside of buildings. So let's go over some of the functions of this cool meter. Alright, so we will use this box to help show how to use this device. We'll pretend that this box is the inside of the room. And we want to measure the length from one end to the other. So with my tape measure, I can see that it's uh, about two feet, six inches, or just over 30 inches. Now if I turn this on, I can set the unit of measurement by pressing and holding this. So we've got feet, meters, uh, a different unit for meters, and we can do inches. So I'll go here, I'll put it up against the side of the wall, and then I'll just press the read button. And you can see that it's 30.4 inches. Uh, that's consistent with what the tape measure was reading. Another function that this can do is this could measure the square footage. So say this was a room and we wanted to carpet it and we needed to know how many square feet were in the room. We could use this. So we just go to the function, uh, the one that looks like a box and it's showing now to measure the, the length. So we'll put it across here. So this would be from one wall to the other. And then the icon changes to measure the other side. So we'd go ahead and put it here to the wall. And then it calculates everything for you. Another thing you could do is measure cubic feet. So we could pretend this is the bed of a truck and we wanted to buy some pea gravel or something. So we need to know how big the bed of our truck is. So we could use this. Press this button until you see the cube icon. This is for feet squared. So we'll go ahead. Oh, better clear that. So I'll clear that off. And uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to measure the length, width, and height. It doesn't really matter what order we're doing because it's just multiplying the three. Now I'm going to show you how to do one of the Pythagoras functions to measure the height of a building. So you look for this icon where the top of the triangle here is blinking. And so that means the first measurement we want to do would be the top of the building. So we're going to pretend that the wall in here is the top of the building. So I want to measure up to where the top of the building would be. So I'll get this ready for reading. I point the laser at my the top of my imaginary building press the button. Okay, so we got 89.4. Now the next measurement I want to do is straight across. So I will point it straight out at our building and so we come up with 77.9. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear this and I'm just going to measure from this point up to the ceiling and see how it compares. 78.4. That's how you measure the distance from the bottom to the top of the building and see what the height is. Another function that we have is if we wanted to see the distance to a certain point. So you just press this button until you get to the to the second Pythagoras function. So the side will be blinking. So here you measure the top. So I'll come here, I'll point it to the ceiling. I got 78.3. Now we want to measure straight out here. We got 43.1 uh, with 89.4 and we can go ahead and verify, I'll clear this and I'll point to what the distance would be that we're looking for and in this case it'd be like the top of a building or something. I uh, go ahead and point it to the top of the building and we get 89.6. Okay, the next function I want to show you is how you can determine the distance from one thing to another. So say my guitar stand, let's pretend that that's a window on a building and I want to know how far it is from the top of the building down. So what we do is we press this button till we get to the third 
Pythagoras function. Uh, you can see it's got um, a line going through the triangle and then a line to the side. So what we want to do first is we will point this up to what the top of our building would be. Okay, so let me point that to the top. Uh, that's pretty close. Then we want to go down and point to the top of the window or my guitar stand. So we got that measurement. And then this would be on the ground and we just measure the bottom of the building here. So we've got our result, 16.8. It should be 16.8 inches from the ceiling. If I clear this, measure it to the ceiling, we got 16.5. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is how to measure the height of a building if you are standing on a hill. So we'll say that my wall here is our building, uh, the corners, the top of the building, uh, middle of the walls, the middle of the building, and the bottom of the wall up from the baseboard is the bottom of my building. And since I'm, since this won't be measuring from the ground, it'll be like it's on a hill. So I'll just place this on my chair and we will measure. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to navigate until we see the double triangles. Okay, so you're looking for this symbol here, the double triangles. Now I'm going to measure the corner of my room, so this is the top of the building. Okay, we got that. Now, we want to make sure that it's level, so we'll use the level on the device. Get the second measurement, and then measure the bottom. Okay. So here we have 93.1. So let's go over and try to verify. I'll place this on the baseboard. Press read and 93.6. That's really close. That's awesome. So I hope that was helpful that I showed you some of the different ways you could use this. Uh, as you can probably guess, this is really helpful for contractors, landscapers, people working on buildings or inside of buildings, anyone who needs to measure large distances or volumes or square footage and wants to do it quickly and easily, this is awesome. One thing I like about the TAC Life is that it's a lot cheaper than other models I've seen on Amazon, but it works just as well. This one is good for up to 60 meters. They have different sizes. You can get it, I think, all the way up to 120 meters. Uh, this is perfect for me. I love it. It's a great device.